Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series where we are learning about HTTP client and today's uh, topic will focus on learning about HTTP client delete method. Whenever we try to delete an existing record or a resource, we call it the delete method. It's one of the features of the CRUD operations where D stands for delete. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience to share with you all. Uh, I'm so eager to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you face any errors or any queries, please ask me in the comment section. I will try and help you as much as I can. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So please support me by subscribing and liking the videos. Thank you in advance. This is part of the Angular 9 full tutorial playlist where we are now reaching close to 60 odd tutorials uh, with complete examples, detailed explanations and much more. If you really want to learn and master Angular 9, this is the playlist for you. I have shared the playlist link in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. So in this mini series, we are focusing on Angular HTTP where we have learned about the observable, some dependency injection services, how to use HTTP client, get, post, put method. And today we are going to learn about delete, right? Delete method. So before we start, uh, for viewers who are joining us new, whenever we have to use any HTTP request or response in Angular, we have to use HTTP client. HTTP client is used for performing all HTTP calls in Angular. The service is available in the angular slash common slash HTTP package. To work with HTTP client, remember that we have to import HTTP client module first. A lot of um, developers make this mistake. They do not import this particular module, so they'll see errors. Make sure that you don't do that mistake. If you really want to work with HTTP client, make sure you have imported HTTP client module. That being said, let's start with HTTP client delete method. So whenever we call an API or an endpoint to delete an existing data, we refer to it as a delete call. Now, delete usually takes a endpoint, right? A URL. We can also pass some parameters to it or we can pass headers to it. That is using the same set of headers and parameters that we can pass to get, post, put, etc. Since it's a HTTP call, the response type will also be an observable. And we learned in the previous episodes in observable that whenever we use observable, we have to subscribe to it in order to read the values. So that's what we will be doing. Again, like I said, we can pass headers, params, etc. These are all, this we'll explore in the next tutorial where I will cover about headers and params in detail. Uh, but for now, the idea is to just learn how to make a delete call and delete the resource. To do that, we will have to follow the same steps like how we did in get, post and put. That is, we have to import first the client HTTP client module from the package, which is Angular Core HTTP. Once you have imported the module, we can then import the HTTP client into our service or component. The best practice is we should always have our HTTP calls in our services. That way it becomes much reusable and easy to maintain. Also, various components can share the same service. We will learn this when we start the CRUD operations soon, uh, maybe next week. Then we inject the HTTP client into the constructor method. And finally, we'll implement the delete method. Once we have written the delete service, we have to import the service into the calling component class where we will call that particular method, right? So these are the six simple steps that we will do. Um, so let's get started with some hands on example before I show you. So we have built a simple, uh, nothing fancy here. Uh, I'm keeping it simple for your learning purpose. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to our service, which we created in the previous episodes um, and uh, make sure you have checked out, you check out uh, the previous tutorial where we where we have implemented basically uh, the HTTP client module and we have done HTTP client module. We imported it, we created HTTP client instance, etc. So 
this tutorial will help you if you are following the previous uh, slash last four episodes so make sure you check them out so for the delete method in the contact dot service i'm writing a method i'll say delete contact and we have to pass an id just like how we did for contact since we have to create a um, url for it so what we'll do we'll create this method and again we'll say contact uh, delete endpoint equal to http localhost 3000 slash contacts plus contact id which is what we are passing it here right and once we have that here then we have to just return it right since it's an observable we'll return it so we'll say http client dot delete and we will have to just pass the url string right so we will pass this url and we are saying that delete the resource whichever id we will pass in the method right now we will implement this method in our component so here i'll go and i'll say delete contact and we'll pass a contact id usually this will be this contact id this contact id will be will be dynamic and will usually come from the ui click right so this this will come from like a for loop we'll we'll do that um, we will we will implement that uh, in crud series starting wednesday right okay so that being said uh, let's since we imported the contact service what we'll do is we'll say this dot delete contact and let's just pass the id right so contact id so now we'll take this method put it in the template and i'll just throw in a simple stubbed uh, method for now delete contact i'll say let's say delete four right and we'll say delete contact number four this is always four for now but like i said this will become dynamic once we start crud operations so we see the delete contact four which is one two three four for the fourth one is youtube right so let's see that here i have the list of contacts in the postman so i see the fourth one is youtube angular let's delete that using the ui so i click here and i have not yet subscribed to it so we need to do a subscription so we'll say dot subscribe and data and let's console it here it's console dot log and we'll console log the data for now nothing fancy just we are taking an id and calling the service right so that that is something that we have to uh, know and fix it um, it says this module cannot be referenced allows okay that's because um, contacts component.ts line number three okay let's see that uh, okay that i imported by mistake okay so now it should build okay so it's compiled let's go to our ui and we see there is still the youtube angler that's the one so just to also show you that it's taking the correct one i'm going to just throw in for now dot last name right so we see the values now first name last name so we see id number four if you want to really see the id also usually it's a good practice i'll show all of this in putting in tabular format for you uh, just bear with me for a couple of more episodes and we'll start with that so we see one two three four five the fourth one is youtube angular now we can delete it right so we will say delete okay there it looks like there is some error let's see what is that okay and let's just show the message for now any message you can put it uh, delete contact contact id okay and then we'll say delete contact looks like there is an api error okay so there are some error it says uh, http response failed okay that's because it should be slash so make sure you do that as well it should be slash Alrighty, so we have our data now let's click so it says it 
created but it should be actually delete now you see it's gone right so number four is deleted using our uh, http client method which is basically just calling http client dot delete um, so like i said all of the get post right so remember that remember important things here so http client uh, post get put delete right all of these will take headers params etc right that's what we are going to cover it in the next uh, episode where we'll talk about http headers params and complicated um, starting also once we are done with this interceptors and headers we will do a actual uh, we'll start live projects on angular uh, we'll start with simple then we'll do a full-fledged crud application as well so stay tuned for that uh, let me know if you have any doubts try it out the best way is to code with me uh, so code with me let me know if you face any issues i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for joining if you like the video give a thumbs up and see you in the next episode